Hi, I'm Dan Vitale. I own Hunger Management uh, food truck operating out here in Maple Ridge. My food truck, we usually do sandwiches. I've got like a prawn pour boy with tempura fried prawns, my own tartar sauce, my own coleslaw mix on a focaccia bun. Um, I got a prime dip, triple A prime rib, with a beef dip shaved thin on a, a hoagie bun with Havarti cheese and a thick au jus dipping sauce. And then just different snacks, kind of whatever I feel like and whatever locally is at the farmer's markets. Yeah, I, um, I live in Maple Ridge. I've lived out here for 10 years raising my kids. Uh, four years ago, I decided to start a food truck because um, I couldn't afford a restaurant. I had kids. And I've been here, started at the farmer's market, and then I do all, many of the local events and working with the BIA and the chambers out here as well. My favorite part of owning a food truck is basically, I'm my boss. I can do whatever I want. If I'm bored and I want to make something different, I can do that. If I didn't want to go to the grocery store and get product, I can do that. But I just love getting in the truck and cooking, um, putting the food right from basically the, the stores and the farmer's market right into, you, into the people's hands and letting them enjoy uh, the flavors that I produce. I shop locally as much as I can. My bread is made from Gracia Bakery down the street. Uh, whenever I do any catering products, I pick up my cheese from Golden Ears Cheese Crafters. Um, I hit the farmer's markets all weekend long, so fresh produce is just the easiest way to go. So yeah, as much as I can support locally, I shop locally as I can. My kids are the, uh, the hardest enemy because uh, they're always like, you know, they just tell you that straight up as it is. If they don't like it, they'll tell you, I don't like that. And so it's fun. They, they enjoy what I do and I, uh, I enjoy cooking for them. My business superpower, well, um, I'd probably have to say it's just my creativity and energy when I'm cooking in my truck. Um, everyone's got a, something that they don't like or whatnot, so I have a little fun with them. I play with them a little bit at the beginning, but I usually accommodate everyone's special needs and that makes the fun about cooking as challenging as just doing something different and creative every day. So when I wake up in the morning, uh, as in a small business owner, there's always things on your mind. Uh, first thing, you got to make sure your customers know where you are. Social media is a, is a big deal. Um, and then after that, I always got to check on my stock lines. Where, uh, do I have enough food for the day? Do I have enough food for the next day? Do I have major events? So it's always thinking ahead two or three days in advance. So the business always just runs in your brain. No matter, There's no such thing as a day off for a small business owner. The best things about having a food truck in the best day is when you come home at the end of the day, my truck is completely empty because I'm not like a kitchen, I can't stock multiple times. So if I can go home at the end of the day, my truck is empty and I sit down, take a little breather break, see how that reflect on the day and realize, okay, I got a lot of work still to do, but if the truck is empty and I'm getting random emails or texts from people, because my phone number is on my truck, then saying, hey, your food was amazing today, that's just a good feeling. And then, okay, switch back on, go back to work now and restock the truck for tomorrow. My inspiration coming to food trucks, a lot of, like everybody, you know, watching the shows on TV, a lot of the chefs on there, Bobby Flay with Creative, Down South Cooking, um, Anthony Bourdain, he just, I love his travels, but locally, um, the chefs locally, Mike, the world's Big Feast and Big Smoke has helped me quite a bit and just creating different ideas and talking about marketing and advertising and just being involved in the community, is, uh, it's good to have those people around you. The best advice I've probably been given in the business is don't underestimate your worth. You know, as a business owner, you're working hard all day long. Um, making sure you have fresh food out, that food is always perfect, consistency every time. And to not compromise on that aspect, but to know your value and worth. So it's, you know, just because you know, you know somebody doesn't mean they can get a, fair, a special deal and stuff. So. You know what, if I could give anyone any advice for this, it would be just, you know what, just jump in and do it. You only live once. Um, 
I got tired of, I've worked everybody else, I've worked for other people and you're always telling, being told what to do, what to do. Uh, why not just go for it, take the risk, find the people around you that support you, have them as your support group and around you as much as possible and positivity is a great thing to have. But probably a favorite coat that I like using is indulge your taste buds, you know. Like, you gotta eat, so you might as well eat good food. It may take a little longer, it may cost you a little bit more, but enjoy what you eat. And if you're gonna enjoy what you eat, that just makes you smile an entire day. You gotta eat three or four times a day, so you might as well enjoy it. Yeah, a business model that I like to follow is just work hard, be true to yourself, um, and yeah, and you know, just find positive people around you. And those people are the ones that you wanna surround yourself, because they'll help push you forward. Probably my favorite thing about Maple Ridge is the community aspect of it. You know, I, wherever I park my truck, whether it's at home or at storage, I always have people asking, oh, are you open yet? I'm like, well, I need some time to sleep, guys. But um, it's just fun because people are around you and they support you and it's a community feel and it's just nice to have. The best thing about uh, working out here in Maple Ridge is the convenience, you know, living out here, and then dropping my kids off at school and then coming to take the truck around town to go out for lunch. It's convenient, it's beautiful, it's right here. Then I can end my day, go get the kids from school and then we go shopping at the local places to get my produce and my bread. So convenience is a beautiful thing to live out and live out here and work in Maple Ridge as well.